Hello everyone, I am Sartails and today we will make a lava material and learn how to animate it in an easy way. Let's go! First, we will select all with A and delete everything with X. Then we will add a mesh, plane. Before we can start working on our material, we need to adjust some render settings. For the material to work, we need to switch to Cycles Renderer, because until recently Eevee didn't support displacement material. So go to Render Properties and switch from Render Engine Eevee to Cycles. Also, if you have a good graphics card, you can switch from CPU to GPU. Turn on the viewport denoise to get rid of the noise and make things easier for the eyes. Switch from the solid mode to the render mode. Add light, area. Move it up with G plus Z. And then move it to the left with G plus Y. Now rotate it with R plus X. Change the power of the light to around 500 watts. Change the view to the top of the graphic with 7 on the numpad. Duplicate the light with Shift plus D. Click on this little yellow circle on light and move it with the left mouse button to point it at the plane. Change the power of the second light to around 300 watts. Duplicate the light with Shift plus D one more time. Click on this little yellow circle on light and move it with left mouse button to point it at the plane. Change the power of the third light to around 100 watts. Select the plane. Click on the material, click new. Rename the material to lava material. Place the cursor on the upper side of the screen as shown and when you see plus just pull it down to the left by holding the left mouse click. Open the shader editor in the window you just created. Click end to hide that sidebar on the right. We will be starting with the wave texture to get a nice swirly look. There are a bunch of different settings in the wave texture node, but don't worry, they are all very self-explanatory. Scale adjusts the scale of the waves, distortion distorts them, detail adds more details and detail roughness adds more details to the details. As I said, pretty self-explanatory. Connect base color from principal BSDF with color from wave texture. Connect the vector input from the wave texture node with the vector output from the mapping node. Connect vector input from the mapping node with object output from the texture coordinate node. Change scale in the noise texture from 5 to around 1.3. Connect color from wave texture with height from displacement. Connect displacement output from the displacement node with displacement input on the material output node. To be able to displace the mesh, we needed to add the displacement node. At first it won't work and will only show it as a bump map. To fix that, you need to enable both displacements and bump maps in material settings. Go to modifier, add modifier, generate subdivision subsurface, switch it to simple. And change levels viewport and render to six. Change scale in displacement to around 0.07. Change the distortion and wave texture to somewhere around 13. Right mouse button and choose shade smooth. Change detail in wave texture to somewhere around 1. Change the detail scale in wave texture to somewhere between 1.5 and 2. Change detail roughness to around 1. Connect scale from mapping with value from value. Change value from value to around 0.5. Add converter color ramp and put it between noise texture and principal BSDF. We added the color ramp so we can start layering the colors. Move the first color more to the right and the second color more to the left. We switch the white and the black colors because we want all the peaks to be black and all the valleys to colored. Change the white color to some yellow. We added the yellow color because at the bottom of each little valley we want the lava to look the hottest. Click plus to add one more color, change it to orange and move it to the left. Keep adding more colors and adjusting them. As we layer in each new color we make it a bit more red and less bright until we have a nice gradient of colors from yellow to red and finally to black. We can then connect color from color ramp with emission strength from principal BSDF. Then we can adjust the color of our emission. You can alternatively connect the color from color ramp with the emission color from principal BSDF and adjust the brightness with strength. Whatever you think looks better. Add texture, noise texture. Connect the vector output from the mapping node with the vector input from the noise texture node. Add color, mix color and put it between noise texture and color ramp. 
connect factor from noise texture with B from mix color. Change in mix color from mix to multiply and change factor to 1. This way we multiply the noise texture with the wave texture in order to add more details that can be animated later on. Add converter, color ramp and put it between noise texture and multiply. Move the first color more to the right and the second color more to the left. Change in the noise texture from 3D to 4D to have a W vector that we can animate. Change the scale in the noise texture to around 3. With lacunarity we can add more details and by adjusting the distortion of the noise node we can add nice swirls. So change lacunarity to around 3 and distortion to around 0.8. Connect result from multiply to hide from displacement. Connect roughness from principal BSDS with vector from new noise texture. We did that to add another layer of details. Connect the vector output from the mapping node with the vector input from the noise texture node. Add converter, color ramp and put it between noise texture and principal BSDF. Since lava isn't entirely shiny, we added another color ramp and adjusted the black value to something lighter to add some roughness variances without it being either too shiny or too rough looking. Adjust the scale in the noise texture if needed. For the last layer of details, we can add another noise texture. So connect normal from principal BSDF with normal from bump. Connect height from bump with factor from noise texture. Adjust the value in value again if needed. Connect the vector input from the noise texture node with the vector output from the mapping node. Change the scale of the noise texture to around 7. Finally, in order to animate the material, we can add a driver command into W vector of the noise texture node that we multiplied with the wave texture by typing in hashtag frame slash 150. That way we can animate the texture infinitely. Higher numbers will slow down the animation and lower numbers will speed it up. You can check your animation by spacebar to start it and again by pressing spacebar to finish it. In the end for fun you can add monkey. Right mouse button to shade it smooth. Go to modifier and modifier subdivision subsurface. Click on material, choose lava material and click spacebar to start animation again. That is it! Now you know how to make lava material and animate it. If you enjoyed learning Blender with me, consider subscribing. Bye! See you next time!